Arca at Michigan International Speedway. This is going to be a fun one, and I'm not sarcastic this time for once. Uh, these are the kind of tracks that uh, feel at home to me, so I'm, uh, I'm excited to get going here. It's one of my favorite cars. Um, lots of speed, lots of uh, loose car action. Um, just takes a little bit of lift around the corners to get it done. Uh, let me make sure I got my settings all right. Okay, that's what I got. I set a qualifying time here. I'll uh, have that in the video to watch. Um, it takes it, it's clear. Okay, hopefully I don't to, disappoint myself. To set a decent time. <laughs> These are the races I feel like I gotta do halfway decent at. Um, I didn't do the time slot. I normally like to run the first dark race of the week. Um, wasn't feeling too good, but uh, now it's a little later in the day and feeling a little bit better, so we'll get a race in, and I uh, might do another one later um, if I need to get a higher strength of field. Right now it's halfway decent, I mean I'm the fourth car though, so it could be better, but... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, really gonna go all out this first lap. Because this is where you can really get a good time. Ooh, track temperature I think is a little colder than it was in the practice I did. Seems like you got some more grip. That's good to know. Let's get this done. Faster guys can hold on to that gas pedal a little longer, but I just want to make sure I uh, don't get loose and ruin my lap. That feels like a pretty good one. Uh, maybe we'll be a little more daring this time, see what happens. Since we already got a good time in. Get right on the wall. Didn't quite get the exit we did in the first lap, though. Um, from what I understand, it seems like the uh, first lap is where you want to get your speed up. Uh, nope, there's the loose. Alright, that's what I wanted to avoid that first lap, so. Um, first lap's going to be the fast one. And uh, an all-time best lap for me. I mean, I just, I've never done this uh, car track combo before. Um, I just started practicing the typical 30 minutes before the race started. Or, you know, before the, you know, yes, before the race started. Um, session opens, start doing, like, some practice. Um, and then it seems like the track temp is down from whenever, whatever the practice was. It says 101, but it really felt like we had some more grip. So maybe it was higher before, and that makes the track slicker. But, uh, all right, got a pull time. All right, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, we got some guys still uh, ready to go, though, that'll potentially knock me out of that spot, though. Um, we do have a couple guys that are obviously higher ranked than I am, so I could easily lose that. But uh, all I wanted was a good, uh, you know, good starting spot to get ahead, and um, you know, maybe in front of some wrecks. <sighs> All right, feeling good. I really should start um, just keep going around the track so I have something to do. Maybe get a little more practice in instead of uh, backing out and just watching the timer go down and then talking to myself for a minute and a half. Probably be more entertaining watching me test it out a little bit too. Um, just in that little bit of time, I wore two percent off both the front and right, uh, front and rear of the right sides. So, um, it'll probably start getting tight later in the run. I was watching some guys race before this, um, trying to pick up on some things. So, doesn't seem like you need to do too much tire saving, but it can help. So I'm still going to avoid doing any unnecessary side-by-side -side racing if I put I get put in that situation 
but I don't want to back out too much. So, just about everyone's qualified at this point. Everyone wants to get their good starting position, looks like. And with about 12 seconds to go, looking pretty good. Ooh, someone come on. Uh, looking pretty good for this full time. All right. Add that to the stat sheet. Anyway, gonna start, uh, gonna get going here. Um, I think I'm gonna end up starting in second gear. We'll see how it feels though. How good we gotta do this sideways thing. This is how the people in my apartment complex park. You know, you're supposed to be facing whatever this way. They're all parked like this. <laughs> Pace car didn't get the memo, he's just sitting there. <clears throat> Guess we're supposed to be looking at uh, these guys saying like, Hey, thanks for coming out. Wonder who uh wonder who's supposed to be up there, what that's like you know, special guests or whatever, if those are like <laughs> group people? I don't know who those people are. <clears throat> I clear my throat a lot while recording, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not used to talking this much. I am not a very talkative person, so... <laughs> Telling me to, to get on the mic here and start talking a bunch, my throat's like... My vocal cords are like, what is happening? What is all this? Are you guys getting a... Uh, or game speed is high at point three six in practice. Yeah, um, you have to hope it sticks. That's pretty accurate. Everything he's saying there. Um, I would add that it just seems like the track had a little more grip now than it did in practice too. But, uh, it's a lot of throttle control. Um, you know, being real particular with uh, how you're hitting the gas to keep it straight. Need to follow the pace car in the inside column. Um, the races here looked pretty intense um, by what I was watching. You know, especially near the front, you got you get guys uh, One to go. Next close to one another. So hopefully I can hold my line well enough and man, I really would like to get a good finish. Feels like we've done a lot of I mean, it's just my biased brain, but it feels like we've done a lot of short tracks and stuff lately. But, I don't even think that was the case last week. What did we do last week? I can't remember. I have the worst memory of all time. Rockingham, that's what it was. So yeah, you know, the more of those, uh, smaller tracks, I do better whenever it's all about, like, throttle control and keeping it from getting too loose. I like that stuff. Sit all the way up on the dash like this. And uh, bump up the uh, force feedback a little more than usual. That's how I kind of prepared for this one. And uh, definitely want to be on this groove I'm on now. That's kind of the line through the corner, it seems like. <clears throat> at least at the start of the run. But you do have a couple options that, you know, you'll do okay with. You know, you're not going to be setting get ready, going green. blazer laps on the top of the line or whatever, but, you know, you can get around without too much trouble. Where did I shift that early? What am I doing? Okay, it didn't seem to <laughs> hurt me that bad. <laughs> Forgot how to eye race for a moment. So it's going to be loose tires. Don't want to loop in front of the field. One of the first things I did when I got iRacing when I was in high school in a street stock at Charlotte. I qualified pole and then I just looped it in front of the, the field on the very first lap and uh, everyone got mad at me. I got so embarrassed and I quit for three years because <laughs> I could not handle that embarrassment. So then I came back and like that was like in 2013, and then I came back in 2016 and did a little bit more. Left again, and then came back again in uh, early 2020, and now uh, here I am. I've been racing a lot more. Um, should probably be focusing.
focusing on what I'm doing instead of reminiscing. <clears throat> so, focus on my line. These are uh, pretty important laps to start off with here. Like I was saying, the track seems like it has a lot more grip than it was in practice, so it can go a little harder, but do I even want to is the question, because as uh, I've said time and time again, no cautions here in Arca, we're going to need to take these tires to the end, so let me be uh, cognizant of what I'm doing to them. A lot smoother here at uh, Michigan, though, so don't have to worry about it as much. Guys uh, directly behind me seem to be chilling a little bit. We're having a pretty fun drive at the moment. We'll just compare to our last lap. And then maybe once we get a little bit of breathing room, we'll just maintain. And, uh, you know, just maintain that gap. Don't need to pull out to some insane lead or anything. Just gotta be enough to keep it in front. Enjoying this track so far. Love the Arca car so much. It's so much better, in my opinion, than you know the Cup car the way they, that it is now with the all the downforce and all that. This is an older model of Arca car, so this isn't even really what they run in real life at the moment. It's just so much fun. Um, that's why it's my car of choice, despite it being you know, the D class series or whatever it is actually getting some weird frame issues at the moment. I don't like that. Um, I don't know if that was reflecting on the actual F FPS on the top right there, but it's kind of stuttering. I would like that to not be a thing. If we could make sure that doesn't happen anymore, that'd be great. Oh, that would be a gut punch to get the pole and running pretty well and then disconnect or something oh man that's the worst I mean I guess uh, the way that you can feel better because that's happened to me before the way that I kind of makes me feel better about that is you know there are certain things that happen in real racing that don't happen on here that can have a similar effect you know you're leading the race and you just get a random blown tire through no fault of your own not even because you're pushing hard just it's a bad tire or something just had another mechanical failure and those things happen in real life racing and that's not something that really happens here so that's kind of the trade-off I feel and so when I end up like disconnecting like that I'm like oh man the uh, the motor blew or something you know and it makes me feel better because you know it makes it feel more okay, Colton. Colton. acceptable that something out of your control happened and uh, just a good reminder that that's just uh, that's how racing can be sometimes. It can be very cruel. So, um, should I be taking it a little softer? Probably. Man, it's just fun racing, though. <laughs> this is a bad habit I have. I just, I like going fast, man. I like setting good, fast laps. Um, I like setting those qualifying laps, getting myself on the pole. Um, I had a race uh, a while back. William Byron showed up in it. It was a, a B fixed race at Atlanta, and uh, I was ranked pretty low. And so I kind of just made the decision that uh, I'm gonna hope for cautions, and I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> and uh, I had good pace because I was able to run the high line really well, and that's a good line to run at Atlanta. Uh, or at least it was at that time in that car with that setup and uh, I qualified on pole for that one and you know I started just gunning it when the race started and uh, I got out to like a great lead and then predictably the tires fell off didn't get the caution I needed and I got like I don't know 14th or something but I got to feel, feel like a cool guy for a while so that was fun. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, 
I wouldn't have been able to keep up there while trying to maintain tires anyway. So I just went out there and had some fun for a while. And uh, that's probably what's going to happen here. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't think I am maintaining the tires too well. Maybe I'll try to get a little lower. Get the car turned a little bit. It's going to kill my exit. But uh, maybe start doing that a little bit more. To uh, even out the tire wear. Yeah, I'm not maintaining it very well. So, oh well, maybe we won't win this one, but um, I think we'll still finish pretty well. And I'm having a good time. I'm kind of treating this one anyway as kind of like practice, because I do want to come back here again um, with a higher strength of field if possible. So it's the last uh, race of the championship season or whatever. Um, week 12, I believe. So, kind of want to try to get a solid finish to that season. Let's see if I can finish well. Try new things are failing at the moment. Couldn't tell. Kind of losing to the guy behind me. But, uh, I think I was like in 17th last time I checked uh, worldwide in the ARCA standings. That's just so much better than expected. The time was at uh, to do. So that's a lot of fun, out being on that first page with a bunch of really talented dudes. It feels cool. Um, just for once I was able to participate in every race of the season. I don't know, what are they F saying F for? <laughs> that happened, someone disconnect, someone wreck, I didn't see. Uh, we'll see it at the end, we'll do incidents. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, um, standings. So, uh, in the past, before I got this computer I have now, I had a computer that could not handle the new damage model. And ARCA, of course, was like the guinea pig that was the first, uh, they first had the damage model. And so, if there was ever a wreck, which, believe it or not, happens in ARCA, my computer would just start freaking out and uh, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't run it. So that was unfortunate. So I never even got to do ARCA for a long time until I got the new computer and then I realized these races are a lot of fun. I'm glad I can do this now. This is a good learning a good uh, bit of learning here. If I decide to come back, take a little easier on the tires. Next time, I probably want to use a little bit of brake, I think. Start doing that a little bit so I can stay, uh, keep the car rotating. I put the brake bias way back. And uh, that should serve me well to get it to rotate. Last was at 41.3. <laughs> yeah, I just don't have the run off the corner and stuff anymore, so he's gonna get by me pretty soon. I don't have the, quite the gap that I want to do. That's okay, that's kind of what I was uh, thinking was gonna happen. I'll pay more attention to how I'm treating my tires in the next time through and uh, do a little better. I just watch that I don't get, to get into someone here. Maybe I can hold them off pretty well on the high side. I'm working on it. Doing alright. It can be really hard to pass someone on high, uh, on the low side when they got the high line working out. I to hit the brakes a little too hard there. I'm just really worried about getting into the wall. He is. He got the pass down now. Clear, it says it's gonna slide.
right in front of me. Yes, sir. How we doing? Can't feel too bad about that. The two guys passing me are higher ranked than I am, so theoretically that's the way it should be. Maybe I'll try to mimic what they're doing a little bit. Maybe I can keep up with their draft and uh, maybe I'll keep up. Maybe I'll be able to stay with them. Still got a while to go though, and uh, given my disadvantage on tires already. Probably not going to look too good for me by the end of this one, but... Yeah, that was a pretty good corner, so far. We're not through it yet. <laughs> car ahead is Baker. They're kind of battling, so... Maybe I'll uh, hang out back here for a while, and maybe they'll uh, end up just as worn as I am. Maybe we'll still have a chance at this thing. So they are fighting pretty hard. But we got some people behind us, too, though, that aren't quite that far away. They're not gone, by any means. So, still a lot of things can happen before this one's over. I'm having fun. This is good. It's good racing. I like this. Not always uh, everyone's favorite, these uh, mile and a half or uh, two mile tracks, as is the case with here at Michigan. But, uh, I love it. This is my favorite kind of stuff. Unpopular opinion. Not uh, saying the other stuff isn't good. I love it all. But racing, I think. Maybe I should be more specific. Racing these tracks. I have probably had the most fun doing this. Maybe because the uh, short tracks are just too hard on my anxiety. <laughs> so we're keeping up with these guys. I'm not doing too bad after all don't want to race side by side so I think I'm gonna try to promote this side by side racing here and I'm gonna kinda follow the guy that's losing ground and we'll manipulate the end of this race here a little bit that's uh... that's the game plan now so if we get these guys fighting side by side for longer they'll burn their tires off more and then maybe we'll have a chance it looks like we're maintaining the gap behind us right now, about 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So it seems like we're okay on that front. I'm being nicer to my tires, doing a lot more lifting. So that guy, he's a... Uh, oh no, 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 no. Oh no! That's not what you want to see. Unless you're me. Taking the lead. Duh. Dog, I need more than one. Come on. Yeah, it's close racing. Um, that's just, that was unfortunate. I don't think that's just okay, guys trying to get as much uh, as they can out of it. Will it happen to me? Are we going to see that happen to me next? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Haven't had any uh, lap cars so far, as far as I can remember. Um, well, that's kind of nice. Taking this corner a little nicer now, being next to the tires. It's a car exit in the pits. Um, hmm. You know he's gonna make a move at some point. me now. He's going to overtake me. That's my skill level coming into play. I didn't take that quite right, so the guy who uh, can do it a little bit better than I can is going to be there. I wonder if I can get on the seams a little bit. Help it turn. I might have said that already. <laughs> Half the time I don't know what I'm saying. When I'm uh, driving, because uh, it's kind of just autopilot. My mouth is on autopilot. Kind of hold me at the top there. Uh, kind of kept me uh, on the high line, so I could uh, get me on that corner, get a good, uh, get a better corner than I could. This 
Did this guy save his tires? Clear inside. Is that uh, how he's up here, or was he here earlier? I don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> yeah, no, that was a different guy earlier, I think. That was a three car, I believe, that had the little altercation. <laughs> oh, that's a two car. The other guy ranked higher than me, coming up probably with uh, fresher tires. Gonna make a run at it. As we are coming to five to go. Need to remember to uh, take my line the way I'm supposed to be taking it at this point in the race. This guy had a little more pace than me though. We're keeping up with the draft. High strength guy here. You've just done forty one point six. Come on, car turn. Hmm. I don't think I've got quite the same deficit as I was before in, in terms of tire wear. I think it's all about hitting the marks now. Gotta make sure that uh, getting the correct angles and you know, getting down to that uh, you know, first lane or the, you know, the line, the seam down there where you want to run. Make sure I uh, get that done. There we go. Um, did it a little bit better than last lap it looked like, but uh, oh, I missed. did it even better. Sure, we're gonna be able to catch him in front of me, but we will give it all we've got. Got that brake bias working over time. Let's get the car rotated. Coming out to the wall, using all the track, just like you would at a road course. Use every inch. Just seem to have to turn it. Mm, was that good? Was that bad? I don't know. Maybe that was a little bit too much. Yeah, I think we could have got a better runoff if we just uh, went off the corner smoother. Two laps left. Come on. You're looking good for a podium. That lap was at 41.6. Smooth on the throttle. Make him worry. Ooh, did he have to lift? He had to lift. We're going for it, boys. The car outside. Push, push, push. We can win this. Clear up. Brake's pretty good to get the turn. Ah, I went too low. He's gonna have a massive run off. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Trying to break our draft. Okay, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. I uh, went a little harder thing, but I think we'll get a good run off the corner. Nah, he's better. He's better. Um, do I do something crazy? I don't think I do. I think I hope he does something crazy trying to keep. Nope, we do something crazy. Oh my god, what am I doing down here? Nah, <laughs> there was no way I was catching him. That kind of worked though. I don't even add that to the new ranks. Good win, man. I did work with the Jacob Flag. Come on, give him a nice right race. Good race, Victor. <laughs> Are we talking about the same car here? Hello, Hello Battle 9, nine. that was yeah. probably no. the second most fun I've had on here. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, these are awesome cars. Not good, I honestly wish we could Alright, thanks. Now, <laughs> Is this guy mad at me? What's happening? If I hadn't hit the wall the second time, I would have been way closer. Whoa! 
Hey, did I do something to you, 16? I'm sorry if I did. I didn't know. <laughs> Uh, I'm a bit brain dead. I thought you were Kenny for some reason, and I'm on Discord with him, with him right now. I thought that was him. Don't worry, that 2x is not gonna count. I waited until after the thing. I'm pretty fucking stupid. I was not looking at the Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, man. I was just super confused. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I thought someone was mad at me. Like, I'm like trying to think, did I cut someone off at some point? Like. <laughs> All right, well, I'm happy with that. I thought we were going to fall back uh, much harder after burning the tires yeah, off, so. I did not have training paints on, or my relatives. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, feeling good. You know, I should have finished kind of up there. It was uh, kind of where I was supposed to. I'm supposed to finish fourth or whatever. But uh, learned a lot. Had a fun time. Felt good. Can never feel bad about runner up. So let's uh let's see what happened incident wise. And, uh, go ahead and do the chopper thing. Yeah. <laughs> that guy uh apologizing again. Oh we just got we got some guys running into each other and uh, coming together. Oh, he's already gone. Whatever. Incidents. Oh, I got some more wall going on. Did he lose it? No, he's got it. High side, but a little bit too high. This guy's having some trouble. Oh, he kind of cuts down in front there. But, uh, we're okay. The guys are able to get around. Got a hefty scheme running into the wall. And oh man, they're going for a ride. They're all the way down the apron. Are they gonna? They're going full speed heading in this corner. Are they gonna make it? <laughs> okay, yeah. That could have been bad. Not the ideal line in the corner. A little bit more uh, wall tapping. Loses that guy some ground. I think that wears tires too or something like that. Like that damages your tire wear. I've heard. So not what you want. Not too much of uh, a major crashes going on, just some outside wall from guys who are trying to run that high line. Mr. Meyer, oh, got tapped by the 22, but kept it straight. That's uh, That was very nearly disastrous. Anytime you're tapping someone on the right rear or left rear like that, you could really get them out of sorts. Hard. These Arca cars really like to stick to the wall. Once you hit that wall, they'll uh, they'll stay there. So that's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, see that guy gets into it, and then that's another thing that can happen. So you'll watch. He gets into the wall, trying to go around the outside here, and then he sticks to it, and he, it's not coming off. So he's to yank real hard, and that's what makes him come off the wall and hit him. Oh, that's, I remember that, that's what happened from me. That's really unfortunate for that three car. That killed his race, wow. Yeah, that was it for him. He must have gotten damage or something too. That's uh, that's a bummer. So he's up, on, up there on top. And yeah, he just, uh, he didn't come up uh, off the corner. So, typically, when you're coming out of the corner, you want to drift up, and as the guy on the top, you want to be near the wall, um, so everyone can take their line, and uh, he was kind of just sticking there, 
in the third lane. One card doesn't expect that because that's not really the line. And then they come together. And thankfully, I was able to not become a part of it. I probably overreacted just a little bit, but just, uh, keep staying away from that. Four back here. Is he gonna get the wall? What are we looking at? Nothing. A oh, lot of nothing. Thirteen. We're on lap twenty-three at this point. A oh, lot of nothing. And we got some more wall riding. Stick some Elmer glue on it. Oh. Something else happened in there, but I guess left car. Wall. Today the wall got the most incident points. Are we gonna see some contact? Or a whole lot of nothing again. Sometimes the incidents uh, don't work quite right seal a whole lot of nothing a lot of the time. I'm trying to think who this scheme reminds me of. I think it was like Eric McClure, that's who it is. Eric McClure, he had one of those hefty schemes. Uh, that's how I remember it anyway. Here's Stan Beast and he uh, passed away not too long ago. It was a year ago or something. Come down to uh, a couple laps to go. Winding down the race. Seeing the last of the nothing. Not too much going on this race. We had that contact at the front, which left Pearl 3 right there off the pace. Me. I don't think I did anything, so I guess this is going to be another case of nothing. It was me trying to catch back up. So he got. That was an interesting moment. So he uh, had to lift because he got too tight. And uh, at this point in the race, you got to make a move and you get the chance. So I take my move. I knew that the car's going to be tight. So he pulls it really tight. He really trusts me here. Everyone knowing that it's uh, going to be a loose car, and I kind of just went a little too low there. I should have uh, ran it out a little bit. Should have to get to uh, this draft. I don't think I had much of a chance, though. I think he uh, he outskilled me. Probably had a bit better tires. We were sharing tires earlier. Maybe I can compare. At least I thought I saw them comparing tires. Maybe I didn't. Nope, I was thinking of something else. So, I didn't get to see what the tires were. But, uh, I'm thinking his were probably a little bit better than mine, given how bad I fell off. <laughs> this me doing whatever that was. Wasn't going to catch him at this point. So, I accept my second place finish on my 47-71 tires. And a fun race, and I hope it was fun to watch, too. Um... Second place, starting in the pole, and uh, maybe we'll do this again with a bit more, uh, a bit stronger of a field later. Uh, we'll see if it uh, shows up on the channel. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good one.